final uh, paper for this session titled Association of Severe Asthma with Allergic Rhinoconjunctivitis and Eczema in a Cohort of Preschool Children of Anuradhapura District, Sri Lanka, authored by Rajapaksha RMSI, Amarasiri WADL, Yasaratna BMGD, uh, Varnasekara YPJN, and Agampodi SP, represented by Rajapaksha RMSI. Audio. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Globally, 300 million people are affected with asthma, and it is the most common chronic disease affecting children. Uh, studies conducted in USA reports that the total number of uh, school days missed due to asthma is 13.8 million, and 49% of the children with asthma have reported at least one day of school missed due to exacerbations. Furthermore, up to 80% of children with persistent asthma present before six years of age. However, data on severe asthma and associated factors among Sri Lankan preschool children is scarce. We attempted to describe the independent risk factors for development of severe asthma among preschool children of Anuradhapura district and to describe the association of severe asthma with eczema and allergic rhinoconjunctivitis. We conducted a preschool-based cross-sectional study including all children attending preschools in Anuradhapura district. Ethical approval was granted by the Ethics Review Committee of Faculty of Medicine and Allied Sciences and administrative clearance by divisional secretariats, early childhood development officers, heads of preschools and preschool teachers. WHO 30 cluster sampling method was used and preschools were selected with multi-stage cluster sampling with probability proportionate to size. Parent administered translated versions of the International Study of Asthma and Allergy in Childhood, Isaac, questionnaire was used to collect data from 1,060 preschool children from 36 preschools. We used the standard definitions recommended by the Isaac Steering Committee. 51.7% of the participants were male and 48.3% of the participants were female and the majority of the children were aged five years. Out of the 1,060 participants, 323 children reported a lifetime prevalence of VIS, and 247 reported VIS in the previous year. And 76 children reported symptoms of severe asthma. However, only 27 of them have been previously diagnosed by a physician. Furthermore, 123 children reported symptoms of allergic rhinoconjunctivitis, and 35 children reported symptoms of eczema. We evaluated demographic factors, housing conditions, domestic animals, inhaled allergens, comorbid conditions, and dietary habits as risk factors for development of symptoms of severe asthma in the study sample. Age of the child did not associate with development of symptoms of severe asthma, and the independent risk factors for development of symptoms of severe asthma in this study sample were exposure to passive smoking, frequent skipjack tuna consumption, having pet dogs, and allergic rhinoconjunctivitis. Roofing was not associated with asthma, and the most common roofing in this population was asbestos sheets. Exposure to asbestos is associated with increased risk of respiratory symptoms and asthma in adults. However, the adult subjects in those studies were exposed to asbestos for a prolonged period. The protective factors against development of symptoms of severe asthma in this study sample were having a cement flow and frequent sour banana consumption. Uh, having a clay flow was associated with development of, cement, uh, development of symptoms of severe asthma. However, the practice of refraining from consumption of sour banana among children with symptoms of severe asthma has uh, been statistically represented as a protective factor. Symptoms of severe asthma were not reported in children with eczema who did not have allergic rhinoconjunctivitis. We conclude that allergic rhinoconjunctivitis in current visas increases the risk for severe asthma, and in the independent risk factors for development were allergic rhinoconjunctivitis, exposure to passive cigarette smoke, frequent consumption of skipjack tuna, and having pet dogs. We recommend to promote early diagnosis of asthma in preschool children and to promote active surveillance for symptoms of 
severe asthma in children with allergic rhinoconjunctivitis, and to promote preventive measures to mitigate identified independent risk factors. We acknowledge the contributions of uh, following individuals and organizations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rajpai. So the floor is open for discussion. Come yeah. Because when one is low, the other comes yes. up. Yes. Yes. Uh, we anyway, it, it is uh, this uh, data about eczema and allergic rhinoconjunctivitis and asthma. Both all three of them were collected for the ISAC questionnaire, and we have uh, used the same questionnaire because it comes with it. We have assessed, and uh, it tallies with the, the known, known knowledge that allergic rhinoconjunctivitis is associated with asthma, and eczema is usually seen in those children at a younger age, and uh, later uh, it's not associated. Uh, is it pet dogs, so was that a finding of the question, I sense pet dogs compared to other pets, or how did you? Yes, uh, we, uh, we evaluated uh, uh, pet dogs, cats, birds, cows, and uh, other uh, animals like uh, parrots, and the only thing that associated with the independent risk factor was uh, dogs. It was an uh, independent risk factor, but here, uh, the, inter uh, the, the medical literature report that the timing of exposure is critical. For example, early exposure to these uh, uh, pet animals uh, develop immunity and do, does not associate with development of severe asthma. However, if it is later, uh, the child is older, it is associated with uh, development of symptoms of asthma. Similarly, cement flows compared to? Uh, so the clay flow was a, a, a risk factor and uh, during statistical analysis, therefore, uh, say having a cement flow is represented as a protective factor. Cement flow against which kind of flow? Uh, clay flow. Any other questions? Okay, in the absence of questions, I thank you for your presentation. Thank you.